Now I will show you how to edit a component in the library. And here I have the general lib package opened and I will open the schematic library. And um, here are the components which are in the schematic library. And uh, let me go to the resistor. So the resistor uh, has several footprints here. And here are the properties of the resistor. Design item ID is the unique identification of the item in the library and it can be anything. The designator starts with letter R which uh, denotes resistor according to standard and the question mark is the placeholder for the number counting from 1 up to infinity in, in general. And the comment is equal to value and the value is one of the parameters here and um, it is shown as you see here and here in this placeholder you can put actual value in the schematics uh, the other parameter is the the default footprint which is chosen to be 0805 you can of course change it here and um, these buttons here are representing different keywords you can switch on and off to show these different parameters Okay, so now here, um, as I told you, the resistor uh, has several footprints and uh, let me edit it a little bit. Let me add another footprint. And uh, what you can add actually here, it's not only footprints, but other models like uh, 3D model or simulation models of different levels. And I will here add another footprint. And I will choose the footprint from the existing library in the package which is general pcblib and among these footprints let me choose the one which is not chosen yet this is R uh, rcl 1210 it's a gener generic footprint used for transist uh, for uh, capacitors resistors and inductors and it doesn't have a 3d model and um, we could also use generic footprints uh, in for other cases like 0805 but they, the 3D model changes then. If you have a resistor you have a 3D model like that. If you would choose rather a capacitor you would have a 3D model like that so that you can see from the 3D model what kind of component it's used. Okay but nevertheless that one doesn't have a 3D model at all so it's ju just a right to use the same pattern for all three types of components. So I'm choosing it, okay, okay. So now I have an extra footprint here. The pinout, if I click edit here, I could also click on the pin map. It doesn't matter because the component is not polarized. So it doesn't matter which pin goes where, okay. So now I added another footprint in this component and but that it's not yet visible in the main uh, schematics in the in the component uh, list because before I have to save it and most importantly I have to compile the general project general package project so I will click compile here and when I compile this project I actually generated the integrated library here I have the package here is a PCB and schematic library and the integrated library is actually generated in this folder, project outputs. And here I got the general integrated library. I can take it in and automatically, come on, automatically I'll be able to install it. So I will not extract sources again, I already did it. I will install the library. Now the library is under the components here going here file based library preferences I got integrated library here which is the one original and the other one is here which is compiled and I can show you also here there are actually two different libraries one is here I'm going back and one is here this was the original one this is the compiled one so which one to use then? Because two libraries of the same name are a little bit confusing. So I will use, I will delete or remove from the project uh, the original general integrated library and I will use that one. So each time I do 
change something, it will be immediately also changed in this installed library list. Okay? So let me go to general PCB lib, that one. Let me show you the resistor. And now additional footprint is available. And I can use it in my schematics. Going to this project, I can use now this new component. 